Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Dan Potts with me. We've just lost to Newcastle 1 0 here at St. James's Park. <sighs> My birthday, we lost against West Ham. My birthday weekend, we just lost to Newcastle. Your birthday yesterday, maybe it's us. <laughs> Maybe it's the Scorpios, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this club don't like Scorpios. Um, oh. This hasn't been a very good week, has it, to no. support Arsenal Football Club? And I don't know about today, Cecil. I just felt like there was a very, very even match out there. Mm. And uh, I didn't see much created from either side, I've got to yeah. say. But I didn't feel like Arsenal really had anything going forward at all. Mm. And I feel like last week it's all good shouting and going, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. But where was he today, man? Come on. Like, you've got to do this consistently. These games, too big for, these games too big for him, was it? Just because people said, you know, like you said, Eddie, Eddie, but Sheffield United. And mm. people kind of tried to push that away. We want to give him his credit on the night. But tonight, tonight Dan. Mm. Well, yeah. listen, he deserved his credit the other night. You know, he's got a hat trick. But I've mm. got to see him. I see him against West Ham. I see him against Newcastle. Two tougher games mm. away from home. He's crumbled, man. He's yeah. failed the test, hasn't he? So mm. this is why we need another striker. It's clear to see we need another striker, isn't it? I mean, wow, we could see that tonight for me. Um, I didn't feel Kai Havertz did anything really tonight that made me think, wow, we've got something special there mm. for £65 million. I need to see this guy not playing midfield anymore. That's when will, they, when will these players step up, Dan? Because like you say, £65 million, like When are we going to you know, get what we paid for this player? When are we going to see it, at least? Perhaps we won't see it. Perhaps this is a bad, bad signing. Perhaps this is a flop. Sometimes that can happen. Nobody yeah. wants to accept that. Nobody wants to no, admit it. It's, it's five games. It's six games. It's seven games. Now we've got 11 games, 12 games. How many more times do we sit there and go, perhaps this signing ain't going to work out? Yeah. I've seen him play in a few positions now. It hasn't really worked. Eddie and Ketia can be very inconsistent. And I understand that we've got injuries tonight. Mm. But so have they, bro. Yeah. They have the whole spine out. Yeah. Botman, out. Isaac. Yeah. Tanali, suspended. Yeah. Isak, gone. Harvey Barnes, gone. There's more as well that are in their squad, like yeah. Anderson and McKayley, all those guys. We can't use that as an excuse. Yeah. Today we were poor. I didn't think there was any creativity whatsoever. And I felt like there was nothing from the bench, but people have been saying that we've sorted our bench out. This is yeah. a great window. We had a nine out in window with Declan Rice coming in. And I said, I can see it as a six and a half window. No, it's not. It's much better than that. Yeah. Where is it from the bench coming on? I can't see it. We've got two injuries depleted again. Yeah. Where are all these subs coming on this nine out of 10 window I've been told? And I'll tell you, he left them subs late as well. I think we saw Eddie stayed on for, I think, longer than I expected. And as Saka at the point was holding his groin, that's a worry. Um, he left these players on. They speak about the bench. It doesn't seem strong enough. <laughs> well, Mikel Arteta needs to look at himself, in my opinion, yeah. because it's not just that time that he's bringing on the bench. They're all coming on the other week. Wednesday, <laughs> throw them all on, throw them all on. Where's Odegaard? Oh, he got injured the other night. What the hell was he coming on for then? We're 3-0 down. Now he's not even in the squad. This is a mad thing. I'm sorry. The manager, I'm afraid, deserves some criticism sometimes. It's not, you don't get an allergic reaction when you criticise Mikel Arteta. I'm sorry. I see enough of these fans that say it's the Cronkies. Mm. They haven't spent enough money. Mm. It's Edu. We didn't do enough in the window. Mm. It's the players. They didn't put it over. They got across the white line. They didn't do it. What about the manager? Can we ever criticise him? It seems like seems we can't. Like we can't yeah. It's like the minute you go, do you think Arteta, shut up, he, leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> blame the Cronkies, blame their do. Not blame Arteta. those players. Do you leave it off the manager? Super Actually, no, I'm going to blame it on the manager yeah. a bit here because I'm seeing tactics. So I don't know what we're doing. What was that out there? What's the game plan out there? I don't get this. We're not as fluid. We're not good to watch. We're not attractive anymore. And every single game, I'm coming off the pitch going, Rice and Sleeper had a good game. Rice and Saliba had a good game. Rice and Saliba and Gabriel had a good game. Rice and Saliba had a good game. When are we going to say when's Saka playing well? Yeah. When's Jesus playing well? When's Martinelli playing well? When's Erdogan playing well? Last season, 10 games in, those four games were electric. Those yeah. four players were electric, mate. You were talking about them every single time. When are they going to turn up? I ain't seen them. And is that the style of play? Is it them? Yeah. Are they tired already in 11 games? There's a lot to be concerned about here. And this is the problem. Me and Turkish have been talking about this for quite a while in terms of this lack of fluidity. Yeah. And when you're winning, it's fine. Don't mention it. Just shut up about it. Put your ears, fingers in your ears. Yeah. La, 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 la. We don't want to hear it. We're winning. It's fine. Well, I'm it, all that. When you start to lose, it becomes a problem. And we've seen now against West Ham and now against Newcastle, people are going to start talking about this lack of fluidity again. And I'm afraid that I've got to see more. And, you know, Mikel Arteta, he said it was his fault on midweek. I don't know if it's his fault today only because mm. I saw a lot, a lot of poor performances out there yep. individually. But I need to see a response and I wanted to see the response today. And then when, what happens in this game, Cecil, is you start to get one, two, three, four losses like this. And it's like, when can we claw it back? Yeah. So at the moment, we've got some problems. We have to go and bounce back against Burnley and Seville. 
We've got to, there's no excuses yeah. now. We've got to go and win those games. And, you know, people I've seen on, on my phone, uh, in January, can, in January, we've just, the windows just shut about five, six weeks ago. And I was told it was a nine or 10 out of yeah. 10 window. Come on, man, we can't be looking towards January already. What I will say about January, go and get a striker. Otherwise, please don't talk to me. 